Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome to the one and only Ostrev Alpha 5 trailer. So this thing literally popped up a couple of hours after I had finished recording the second episode of my uh, No Outsiders Help video. And of course, it's Ostrev. I can't not do a video on it. So this is going to be my completely raw reaction to it. I haven't watched the trailer through yet, so we're going to head it on up now. In the first image, I'll be honest, I'm not seeing anything new. We've got our churches, town halls, houses, um, I think maybe some kind of stables or some kind of logistics buildings. Uh, I think maybe an oil workshop and some storage. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm not. I have to admit, I really like the layout of this market. I really, I, I might steal that. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything new so far. Okay, so that's building snapping. So we have that already. Yep, so. Oh, I don't think we have that. That, I think the road, the house rotation is new because i i think so far we've only been able to do it by 90 degrees i could be wrong so we've been able to do that so far i've been customizing plots that's not been a problem i always love the animate the construction animations in this game they're awesome Okay, okay, so it's showing the difference between plot sizes and how the garden is affected by where the house is placed. I like that. I think we've had that already, but not the rotation, maybe. Oh, oh, hello, new crop. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that flax is a new crop. Hold on, what is that? I could be wrong again in this, but I have never seen that. I don't know what that is. Ha, huh, okay, so it's, we have a new crop in flax. That'll be interesting to find out what that is, uh, what that is used for. Okay, okay, orchard. I'm loving the layout of this terrain. This is beautiful. Ten times better than the settlements I create. I'm seeing two new buildings here. Not sure what this is, but I'll be honest with you, those look like bricks. Those are definitely bricks, but those look like bricks. And I have no idea what this is, but I do not recognize it at all. So I'm thinking two new buildings. Oh, hold on. Has that changed on everything? If I go back to the other... Things are in bold. We have bold text. Oh, oh, I think I've skipped something new. <laughs> okay, so we have bold text. As it also interesting that um I was literally saying in the in my second um No Outsiders Help video that I was wondering if you could have more than two children because some of my families had two children. You can. I don't know if that's an alpha four thing or an alpha five thing, but three children. Um all the whole family living in the same house. Not sure if that's new or existed already. And I th think all of these are normal, but I do like the bolder text. I do like that. It's a lot easier to read. Okay, so we've got health bars. We had this before. The layout may have changed slightly, but we definitely didn't have the health bar. And we definitely didn't have the personal log. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. So automatically setting slots to buy things from locals. So I'm assuming if locals have an overabundance of um, crops or fruits or vegetables that they've made, you can kind of help them out by buying that stuff off of them 
and then using it somewhere else for yourself. I like that because that's a it's a way of giving them money and actually getting stuff back instead of just giving them the handout that you can as well. So I really like that. Not just because we're getting we have so many items now, I'm not sure. I don't recognise horseradish and marrows. I recognise peas, but I don't recognise horseradish and marrows. They might be new items. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Also another thing to point out is that says smaller granary. So are we gonna have multiple sizes of different buildings? That's gonna be very interesting. Oh god, oh oh we can see we can see new items. <laughs> we can see new items. Up, oh, I need to jump it back just a few frames. There we go. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, bricks. Okay. So that was brick that I saw. That was brick that I saw. I thought it was. I very nearly missed that. Sand? Okay, I'm I'm thinking we might have some we can make brick buildings. Actually, which would make sense because there's a different type of art you can do a different type of architecture in this game now. I've seen the the tweets from the dev. I'll put a little picture up on the screen of the tweet that I saw. I've seen some tweets of from the devs that there's different types of architecture maybe you might need brick to do that so i'm thinking you need brick and sand or something in sand to make bricks oh okay so we've got a new economy screen we jump back just a little bit there we go new economy screen okay this is where i'm i've never been particularly good at it that's going to require a lot of trial and error and tweaking to work out what's best for your settlement but i love i love all the options and i suspect this will be even more of a bonus of having a uh, a town hall and a mayor okay that's going that's going to be really helpful so you can see how much you have stored each year so you can see whether you're going up and down what's happening how much you're producing how much you're exporting i'm guessing that's to the market and um out out from the community and how much you're selling with i'm assuming within the community itself that's going to be really really helpful to see where your uh, where your bottlenecks are what's your most profitable um export how your community is doing in general that's going to be really really useful what have we got next brickworks i knew it I knew it. I'm wondering, is that what was being built? So that is kind of an L shape. Is that what was being built back in the other foundation that we saw? If I can find it. Okay, no, it's a different... Huh. It's a different footing. It's the opposite way, way around. Interesting. So, brickwork, what does it require? I th sand called it. Clay, sand, water, and I'm guessing charcoal. Okay. I like it. I like it. What's going on here? I think we had seasonal hiring already, didn't we? Pretty sure we already had seasonal hiring. Oh, wait. Did we miss anything on that? No, I think that is all as normal. That, however, is not. I, We may have had that town, but I don't recognise that route. And I don't recognise this extra settlement either with a ship route. I don't recognise those two. We may have had that one, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure we don't have that one. Okay, so we've got some new areas to trade with. Awesome. And I think possibly a new UI. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my, uh, we, no, we have to go back to that one. <laughs> that, so these are the buildings that I saw in that tweet from the dev. Oh my God. Yes, absolutely. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. Oh, and in the background, I didn't see them as well. 
If we go back a couple frames. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, so cool. I'm really looking forward to this now. Really, really looking forward to this now. Look at all of them. They look gorgeous. Granted, it's a bit weird for the age and time period that they're in, but they look stunning. I can I can see you can kind of make a semi going towards, I don't know, what is it, like Victorian or is Elizabethan? Oh, hold on. I think this is the same. That's a gorgeous looking building. <laughs> that's an absolutely stunning looking building. Distillery. I'm assuming that's for alcohol. Stone, wood, nails, work, brick, lime, sand. That's an expensive building. But I'm pretty sure that's the same footing that we saw. Yep, it's ex that's what it is. It's the distillery. That's what it is. It's the exact same footing. Nice. Okay. Nice. I'm really, really looking forward to this so, so much. <gasps> oh, hell yes. Nice. So we don't have to do our dirt paths anymore. If we've got enough stone, we can actually make stone almost like highways. I know we don't have vehicles really, but we can make stone highways or pathways. That's really, really cool. God, these towns look so much better than anything I can make. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in myself. That, I'm assuming that is flax harvesting. Because I don't recognise those bundles. And as always, the game just in winter looks absolutely fantastic. Wow. Now, if you don't think that looks stunning... Well... I don't know what to say. I think it looks amazing. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to play Alpha 5. Unbelievable. So, of course, when that comes out, I will do an update video on everything new that is in the game. And I will, of course, be doing a new settlement, doing, doing a new playthrough. I'll carry on my No, um, no Outsiders challenge. I might actually see if it will work to update it just because of the iron ore bug of having to import iron ore. Don't know. Let's see how we go. But I will 110% be playing that when it comes out and be doing a ton of videos on it. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Link will be in the description to the devs Twitter, to the game's website, to everything you need to get a hold of this game. It is absolutely fantastic. Please go and support this dev. They are doing amazing, amazing work. And I'll see you in Alpha 5.